I put the ring light back. Well, I guess I could use this one, but that's okay. I found four more books that I can add to my unhaul pile. So let's start with the, uh, this one I read because um, Meg Reads, uh, if I remember, I'll put her channel in the description. Um, Meg Reads was talking about it and she had it displayed on her shelf and it's Christmassy, like winter. It's a perfect time for somebody to read it now. One chance, two, one choice, two chances to fall in love by Carol McDowell. I thought it was just okay. I didn't think anything special of it. It's YA, um, the average person, it's about anxiety, you know, one way or another, you like when you struggle with anxiety and I thought, oh, I'm gonna like it because I have anxiety. This book is just okay. The average person makes 35,000 decisions in every single day. That's about 34,999 too many for Paige Collins who lives in de de debilitating fear of making the wrong choice. So it sounds really good. I thought it was just okay. Um, so yes, I'm just gonna pass it on to somebody else. This is this was uh, about a daycare. I got this at Dollarama for three dollars. A novel about modern day morals, motherhood, and getting your worst moment plastered across the internet. Like imagine. And this is she lives in Los Angeles with her family. Quinn. It's about Instagram. So of course it's gonna be good. But I'm passing it on to somebody else. It was the mummy meltdown scene around the world. Queen, Qu Quinn Barrett's Instagram perfect life turns inside out when her son refuses to wear his handcrafted costume to the Little Wonders preschool, happy Halloween parade and dance party. She loses it, complete and stomping, screaming in costume, destruction galore. Not her best day and caught on viral video. Yep, Halloween Mom is now internet famous. So this will be in a little free library near you. Uh, I read this, God, um, years ago when I was into Sophia Kinsala. Sophie, I keep calling her Sophia. Sophie Kinsala, I owe you one. This is, um, I think I'm keeping one of her books, but this one I can let go of. Uh, Jody Pacall says it's a gem of a novel. I owe you one. This was good. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, what is this one about? Fixer Far has always lived by her father's model, family first. Fam uh, and since her dad passed away, leaving his charming houseware store in the hands of his wife and children, Fixer spends all her time picking up the slack from her siblings instead of st striking out on her own. The way Fixie sees it, if she doesn't take care of her own father's legacy, who will? So, yeah, it's okay. I mean, somebody's gonna like it. And then this one is because you're mine. I got it in doll. I got it at Dollarama and for three dollars. And I believe this was also at Target. Uh, single. Oh, this is this is a good. I'm sure somebody will will like this one too. Single mother Lee has her has the daily routine drawn to a science. Shower in six minutes. Cut food into perfect squares. Never leave her on the spectrum son, Mason, in someone else's care. She'll do anything to keep his carefully constructed world from falling apart. Anything to keep him safe. So this is um, autism. Uh, autism uh, um, talks about autism. It's a really good book, by the way. But when her best friend Grace convinces her she needs a small break from motherhood to recharge her batteries, Lee gives in to a weekend trip. Surely a long weekend away from home won't hurt. N Noah Mason's handsome, bright, charismatic occupational therapist, the first man in ages, Lee's even noticed, is more than happy to stay with her. 48 hours later, someone is dead. So somebody's gonna enjoy this book, as you know. So anyway, these are more that I'm adding to my unhaul pal. Again, thank you so much for watching. Comment down videos if you want to see anything specific and I'll see you in the next one. Bye or they will.